Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, OP Society. Today guys, I bring you an in-depth analysis for Blackbeard. Let's begin. Blackbeard has been released with a new scout template under his belt. These new scouts are limited to 5 days compared to the usual 20 plus days that we get from Bounty Fests. Blackbeard is the first character to introduce a new line of overpowered stats and traits that some players are calling Extreme Legends. Blackbeard is the first character to the Extreme Legends line of characters, which is showing a lot of promise. Some of the pros for this character include good stats, extremely high endurance, a new dark effect, good range and skills, powerful skills, and multiple boosts and traits for cooldown. Some drawbacks are that this character is extremely difficult to get and level up. And his skills don't really work too well in all maps and in all situations. I will explain this a little bit more in detail later in the video. Let's go over Blackbeard's stats and traits. When maxed out, Blackbeard has 9456 HP, 1999 attack, 2116 defense, and the standard 11% critical. Blackbeard's normal string of attacks is similar to Kaido's. It is a 3 hit attack string with a decent range. Similar to Kaido, his normal attack string moves him a little bit forward for a few steps. His skill 1 is called Black Vortex and is one of the most original skills in the whole game. This attack has a 27 seconds cooldown and 308 power points. This is a long range attack that attracts enemies and strikes them. When enemies are captured by the skill, they are inflicted with a new effect called Dark. Dark disables the ability to dodge and is set for 3 seconds. Black Vortex also reduces the enemy's speed by 30% for a long 20 seconds. And let's not forget that this attack has a damage increase of 200% against power users. The attack itself is not so strong, but the inability to dodge it can help you turn the tables around when in a 1 vs 1 combat. His skill 2 is called Black Hole, and this is a mid-range attack that also attracts enemies with a knockback effect and dark explosion at the end. Black Hole is a 2 step attack. The first step has a maximum of 5 hits with 52 points of power per hit. Step 2, which is the knockback dark explosion, has a power of 602 points. When Black Hole is activated, Blackbeard becomes invincible for the duration of the attack. This attack also inflicts dark for 3 seconds and has a cooldown of 55 seconds. This is perfect for when you are defending treasure, and this is the strongest skill of the two. Blackbeard's traits are what really make him an unstoppable tank. They go as follows, his damage is increased against power users by 10%, 15% of HP is recovered each time that he knocks out an enemy. When you are around your captured treasure, you get some perks. Damage taken from enemies is reduced by 30%, and an additional 20% when the damage received is from attackers, making the total damage received from attackers reduced by 50%. That's insane. You also reduce the cooldown speed of skill 1 by 50%, which would bring his skill cooldown to around 14 seconds. Jeez, that's OP. When your health is at 70% or higher, your damage dealt is increased by 20%. When receiving damage from an enemy, reduce the cooldown on skill 2 by 5%. When knocked down, you get a 30% attack boost for 10 seconds. When you knock out an opponent, you recover 15% of HP, and his boost rate also allows you to recover HP by 15% when you receive damage that's more than 45% of your maximum HP. His team boost is not the usual stat increase, but instead recovers a huge amount of HP for you and your teammates. Very useful and almost unfair as most of your HP is recovered. This character takes the crown from any other unit I have played with up until now. He is really fun to play with. He has good stats, amazing traits, new dynamics, and a lot of power. It is crazy how much crowd control you get over your enemies with Blackbeard. He can handle all four opponents with ease and is still laugh about it. During my gameplay, I fought many characters and had little to no trouble beating them. My fights with Kaidos were really intense. 
That is because my unit in particular does not have the best metals, so I had a hard time inflicting a lot of damage. But I would say this, if you fight Kaido around your captured treasure, I would say that you have about 80% chance of beating him. If you're not around your captured treasure, it's more of a 50% chance. Big Mom is not a problem, she's just time consuming. Karakuri, not a problem. Stampede Sabo can be a little bit annoying, as well as Kuma and Whitebeard. As powerful and fun as this character can be, I found a flaw that was just annoying and very consistent. His skill 1 and 2 sometimes will activate but will not catch the enemy, sometimes due to the stage position level, and sometimes the reasons were unknown, you would just fail and not catch the enemies for no reason. If you're too high or too low in a terrain hill, the skill will not catch the enemy, making you waste time and vulnerable to upcoming attacks. Some of the best strategies that I found when playing with this character are to stay in the middle of the map, but it varies from map to map in different situations. Staying in the center gives you full control over enemies like Dofi that keep jumping around the stage back and forth. Try to remain around your captured treasure flag to take advantage of the multiple boosts and cooldowns. Avoid terrains that are not plain as your skills could fail there. But what is the best way to fight against Blackbeard? Keep your distance and try to perfect dodge his attacks. Move him out of the enemy's flag and try using blue defenders or runners to attack. Avoid using power units as those characters get 10% additional damage from Blackbeard. Avoid fighting in plain terrains. If there is a hill, fight him there and move around the hill to dodge his skills. Blackbeard's drawbacks are very minimal and his pros definitely outweigh the cons. In my book, this character gets a 9.6 out of 10. Compared to the 9.4, oh wait, I forgot to give Kaido a score on my last review. <clears throat> I forgot to add it, sorry. In conclusion, it is hard to say if Bandai will release more OP units like Blackbeard. He has the power and defense to wipe out enemies. He's very fun to play with and extremely hard to get. Should you go for it? Mm, that depends on your diamond situation. If you have less than a thousand and no four star fragments, don't even think about it. Otherwise, go for it. He's extremely fun and durable. He will catch you, knock you out, steal your treasure flag and laugh about it afterwards. Now that's a real pirate. Alright everyone, uh, with this I'm concluding my review for Blackbeard. Feel free to leave your comments down in the section down below and thank you very much for watching.